Hey everybody, it's Tom with the SS Motion here with another Call of Duty Megablox review and today we're going to be taking a look at set number 06825 Desert Troopers. The set is for ages 10 and up, it contains 146 pieces and it retails for £11.24 here in the United Kingdom. The set includes 5 figures, a small fortification and a care package. We're going to start with the figures because they're the main focus of this set and we're going to work from left to right. There are five figures included in total. This is the first figure and he is, in my opinion, modelled to resemble a scout. Now in each jungle troop pack, one figure tends to have painted legs and this is him with painted shoes. He includes a suppressed SMG, which is made to resemble an MP5. Two ammunition pouches on his chest, and a burgundy coloured knife on his leg strap. He only has one leg strap, and he is the scout. Next up we have the basic soldier, who comes in a hard hat a combat vest and he has two leg straps this figure includes what looks to be a PKP which is slightly weird considering these are US soldiers he includes two leg straps a brown ammo pouch a tan knife and a bronze concussion grenade and there's a look at him from the back, some nice texturing on his vest. And we'll talk about this more in a minute, but I have to admit, with this set, the one thing that annoys me is the choice of weaponry. So this is the figure who I class as a sergeant, or an operative. Comes with an M16 assault rifle, or an M4, sorry. It's actually, as a fan has pointed out before, more likely to be an M4. Which is very nice, some nice sculpting work on that. And he is the one figure in the set that comes without a tactical vest. But he does have a nice shirt underneath. He has a grey coloured knife on one leg. And a burgundy coloured ammo pouch on the other leg. And he has quite a nice head sculpt with a cap. So that's who I class as the sergeant. He's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get him to stand up for you guys. Next up we have the trooper in the gas mask and there's some very nice detailing on this, a lot of nice texture and paint application. He comes in a burgundy um, tactical vest, he has a grey concussion grenade and a tan ammo pouch and he comes with a AK-47. One thing to note when we give you a look at the back of the figure is that he does also include a rucksack. There is one rucksack included in this set. The last figure is the Assaulter, or that's at least what I class him as, and he includes this beautiful riot shield piece. You've seen it before in my review on the tank, but I really like this piece. He also includes a shotgun, two dark tan ammo pouches, on his vest and a golden concussion grenade let's get that to focus for you and he is wearing night vision goggles we twist his head around there you go and a grey tactical vest so that is the assaulter the little piece of terrain we get is pretty cool we get some sandbags some hooks to place weapons in, a piece of shrubbery, and it's just nice, it gives you room to display about four of the figures um, uncomfortably, about three comfortably. So that's where the main bulk of, the main bulk of pieces actually goes towards the figures and the accessories. So 
We're going to clear everything away for a second and pour out the accessories for you. It comes in the care package. And here are all the accessories. Make sure they're all in shot for you. We get a dark tan entrenching tool. A dark tan walkie-talkie. A dark tan pair of binoculars. A dark tan rifle scope. A normal tan rifle scope. A normal tan weapons stock. A normal tan magazine. A medium tan magazine. And a dark tan magazine. Almost brown actually. We get a dark tan or brown flashlight. A dark tan or brown water canteen. A dark tan or brown uh, patch of armour. Kind of like a fanny pack. And a dark brown claymore. And as well as that we get the care package. Which comes in two pieces with silver here. And something interesting to note. Is that this is actually a different colour green to the one included in the tank. And that is something which I didn't realise until I bought the tank. So that's quite interesting. So overall, if we just put the figures back in shot for you guys quickly. So you can get a nice look at them while I conclude my thoughts on the set. Uh, this is my third Jungle Troops pack. Mm -hmm. uh, you may have seen them in other videos. I've got plenty of them. And I keep buying more because it is such a good pack. For £12, well what is essentially £12. It offers you a lot of nice parts. Some really good figures and a lot of things which you can customise and change to suit what you want. You get a nice piece of terrain. The sandbag pieces are always useful, especially the new mould because that is really good. Um, and the care package is quite useful as well. The addition of a piece of shrubbery is good and it just generally is very good for building armies. Um, so overall I would give this pack 5 out of 5. Is it worth the money you pay for it? Yes. Would I recommend you go and get it? Yes. So guys, this has been another review with me, Tom from the SS Motion. Um, this is my second review. I'm not sure if I'll have any more reviews out until the new stuff hits. Because I have been trying to find the Jungle Troop Pack and the Desert Outpost for you guys to review. Because I can imagine a lot of you would like to see that. But sadly, literally all the shops around me don't stock them. I've checked the Entertainer, checked Smith's and checked Toys R Us and none of them have them so if you guys can give me any tips on where you've bought yours that would be appreciated but until then um until the next video i hope you guys have a lovely week and this has been tom with the ss motion signing off